Gruden has declared it to be a competition. Jay Gruden has admitted or conceded, I guess, if you will, that there is at least a competition. The spring is a great time for teaching, but there's an end goal in mind of giving these guys the best possible chance to all compete for the job. We like the competition we have everywhere. Playing ping pong, playing golf, man, I'm competing. Coach Gruden wanted to uh, change it up a little this year, and he put it in. Uh, he moved the mini camp up. Uh, it's really once again, it it's just to give the guys a different way to prepare. Uh, but uh, each day is is valuable, whether whether we're on the field or not. Where there's ways to get better as a as a player. You know, first of all, you you always want them to come in in shape. Sometimes some players, you know, aren't it in the best of shape for a mini camp. Our guys came in great shape. You know, we have a unique group of guys and there's a lot of leadership in them and a lot of people who have a, a lot of self pride and you, and you felt it in them. Uh, they want to do more. They didn't want the clock to end. They wanted to stay on the football field and you saw them wanting to stay with the coaches afterwards in meetings to make sure they're prepared for tomorrow. Right now, everything is going well, and, and Chad's doing a great job with the healthy guys, and even the players who haven't passed are, are physical yet, we're working on the other field. But uh, I think we're gonna have almost a full group ready when Richmond uh, starts, and, and that, that bodes well for us. We need a healthy football team this year. We need a stronger football team and a faster team. I think the, the parts that have been acquired by Doug and the personnel department are gonna fit in very well. You know, when, when we picked these guys and uh, when the draft was over with and we uh, started thinking about, you know, what we had talked about months earlier about, about the guys that we picked, we felt pretty good with this class. And um, just watching them through OTAs and minicamp, uh, we actually still feel the same way. We, we thought we had a, a pretty good draft and, um, you know, for what they've done on the field in a short period of time, we, we still feel that way. You know, what, what I've seen with, with the rookies and in and, and camp with the veterans, nobody's back down. I think we, we had some uh, a lot of positive out there. Uh, from the young guys, for sure, you know, I, one kid that stood out, I think, this whole offseason is, is the Marlin kid. You know, and uh, I, I walk up to him, I call him a thief. I mean, I'm sure he's picked off five or six passes during this whole time, and he's always around the football, which speaks volume. You know, he's a late round pick, and for him to do what he's done, uh, that's a plus for us. No matter who it is, you know, if, if it's the ball's in the air, he feel like it's his ball. And Haskin, I think, has proved that, uh, you know, he can throw the football no matter who's out there watching. His job is to get it done. and. I think all of the rookies come in from a standpoint knowing that they're rookies, but at the same time knowing that they got a job that they have to do. Just curious, when you're looking at the uh, receivers going up against the defensive backs, who's been standing out to you so far on either side of the ball? Well, I think uh, uh, Jimmy Moreland had a hat trick today, so he had three interceptions, which I've never seen, you know, over my career actually in practice. But uh, that was great for him. Uh, you know, uh, young young uh, Nickelback corner. Uh, that's been playing is Jimmy. You mentioned Jimmy Moreland before. You've got a lot of young, other young corners on the roster, the, the three guys in particular who made the team. Is that one of the more interesting competitions gonna, going forward here this summer, all those young cornerbacks? Yeah, I think everybody, you know, from that standpoint. You know, Donnie's been a little bit banged up, you know, still hasn't practiced and stuff, but uh, and then Josh hasn't been around. Uh, I think it's important they have those guys around to understand the system. Uh, but for those young guys, you know, they just got to keep on battling. Some days you're going to have some bad days, and then some days you're going to have some great days. So you got to keep on struggling, you know, through these decent amount of installs that they we're putting on them and starting to learn the defense, which majority of them have. With Keenum um, and the Haskins in particular, what's the acclimation process been like and what are your first impressions on those guys? First impressions, really on all three, they've done a heck of a job the whole spring. But our teaching progression from the offense, uh, the way the rules are set now, we really get, we first get a hold of them during phase one in the meeting room and we try to expose them to as much as we can. 
And then this is really where we start to kind of the learning curve just goes a thousand miles a minute because we can talk protection now. We can talk situational football today, two minute. There was five things that came up in those two minute drives where we got to go back and talk about the, the spring is a great time for teaching, but we're also, there's an end goal in mind of giving these guys the best possible chance to all compete for the job, you know, come fall training camp. Malcolm Blackham right now is starting our rookie orientation, teaching the guys what we expect of them off the field. And, you know, they got to go to a few of our community events in the last week, whether it's a Ryan Kerrigan golf tournament or Coach Gibbs' Burgundy and Gold dinner. And they saw the way the community loves this franchise. And uh, so we're getting them up to speed on what it means to be a Redskin. The position of player engagement, we explain it to the players like this. Jay Gruden is the head coach on the field. I'm the head coach off the field. I help uh, all young players, rookies, first, second, third, and vets with uh, off the field. And I don't want to say issues because it's not always issues. I just help them with uh, their everyday uh, life in general. I've spent most of my time with the rookie class since they've been drafted. The rookies, the draft picks, the rookie free agents, um, and the free agents as they uh, get familiar with the area. You have to understand where we're living. Uh, one of the first things I do uh, with all the rookies is I do an open bus tour of D.C. They need to tour D.C. with a tour guide, and so they understand that this is a special place. Not that Buffalo isn't or Miami isn't, but Washington, the nation's capital, is a very special place to be and to understand where you're living. Um, and because it is a patriotic town, we are the Washington Redskins, and it's very important that you understand um, the culture here and um, that we always are, are very respectful of it. You know, it's going to be a special moment, you know, I'm going to see the monuments, walk around with my guys, you know, the rookie class. You know, it's just going to be a great day overall. Uh, the whole time I've been to D.C. when I flew in, coming to Redskins, oh, camp, wow. mini camp. So. Yeah, I actually came here on the eighth grade field trip. Okay. Um, we got to tour D.C., Arlington, Virginia, and Philadelphia. So we got to go check all that stuff out. It was a pretty interesting trip. It's been a while, so. I got more lint on my face. No. You good. How's it going? Good luck this season. Right. This is our season, good right? Luck. This is our good year. Good luck, sir. Good luck. Oh, oh, good luck. 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 About to get on the big bus. This is good, good tall ceiling in here. Well, look at this. There's a postal museum. How about that? My seat's in the back. I always sit back to the right. <laughs> How about the postal museum? I sure hope we check that place out. Let's just, let's just hope that we don't get in any trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Bryce, you ever been to DC? Hey. We'll try. What do you remember about it? Uh, I remember the White House. I got you. You're not, you're not the hot girl. Yes. I ain't never been to this part. Actually. Bonner, you ever been to DC? A little spin through? Yeah, what is? Oh, so recently. Good. It was great, you know, to be around all the other rookies and go out here and finally get a tour. I've been to DC, I think, once in my life. When I was real young, kind of forget everything. It was great to be on that that bus and uh, you know really get to see the city. So Lincoln, Lincoln Monument. Just seeing that big sculpture of him up there, it's a huge sign. And then seeing the eye where uh, Martin Luther King had the eye of a dream street was was pretty crazy. We all took a picture together. You know, it was, it was pretty crazy. This class really wants to know what are the rules that are different 
and that I didn't have to abide by in college. They really want to know, um, and I love that about them. I'm not, I'm not knocking my other classes because I had some great classes since I've been here for the last six years, but this, this class, they, they, they tune in. They ask the right questions at the end of a, of, of a particular uh, talk or, or, or uh, speak. I bring in guest speakers, and when they, they, they want to know the answers, they, you know, they want to understand um, what they were just taught, and which is a great thing for me because my big thing is to get them to understand the space that they're in right now. You're in that seat. You've worked your whole life to sit in that seat. So take this next hour and, and, and take this information and run with it because it's not only going to help you as a football player, it's going to help you as, grow as a man. I really don't get into people talking about the offense and other players and stuff like that. I just want, like for this defensive unit, we got all the tools to be an elite group. And that's, that's just something that, that you know, we, we got the tools that we can win games, defense win championships. So regardless of what the offense got going on, we trying to, we got all the tools and we're trying to establish that identity and become that, that type of unit that take over games and suffocate people. Uh, I, think it's, I think it's good, man. I think, you know, I feel good about uh, where we're heading and the pieces that we have, we, the pieces that we added. And um, it's just about getting us all on one accord and, and getting ready. I caught passes from all the guys today. All of them are, you know, it's the first day of camp. All of them are on the money. They're, you know, they have great power. They have great decision making. Top to bottom, this might be one of the more skilled groups I've been a part of. What's your message to the guys now for these next five weeks before Richmond? Well, I think they're in great shape. Chad has done a good job. Larry, training staff, getting these guys ready. I think uh, they're in as good a shape as I've seen them. You know, I'm really most impressed with the rookies, man. The rookies came in here. They're in phenomenal shape, you know. Uh, so uh, the main thing is maintain it. That's the big thing. You just got to maintain it. So when you come back to training camp, there's not a uh, period of time where we have to get you back into shape. You got to stay in shape. That's the most important thing.